Hey everyone, Adam Steele here with another episode of Adam Answers SEO. I had just got, I just got an email from somebody, um, basically a, a team member, and we're having some issues with a citation cleanup that we're doing. And my team was knocking their heads against the wall trying to do outreach, trying to get um, different directories to update information, and we were having something like a 10% success rate, whereas we usually find that we can get about 80, 85% of the citations or local business directories cleaned up. Um, however, this one was not budging. And so looked into it a little bit more and what I realized was that the business name was super, 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 super long and nobody was telling us. So we would email these directories with this monstrous of a business name. Uh, I don't remember the business name, but it was something like integrated health and wellness city name comma doctor something 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 and then his credentials or his or her credentials so you know it probably was at least you know 14 15 words long minimum i don't even know how many characters and i i think and i'm not entirely sure but i think that's probably it is this is the main change that we're making to this citation cleanup or this set of citations, and there really isn't all that many, but directories are seeing this, and generally we don't get a response from directories, they'll just make the change. We'll go back in about two weeks, take a look to see if the change has been made, and if it's been made, great, we update our spreadsheet. Um, they generally don't uh, get in contact with us, they just do what we need them to do. Um, in this case, they're not, they're not obviously letting us know, and so our um, percentage is so low. So um, I would, I wish I had caught this earlier. I would have let the client know that this is a no-go. I'm going to have to let them know uh, now that they should really consider a, a different name, possibly just not having the, um, um, the uh, you know, maybe the, the doctor's name at the end or something like that. Maybe, maybe instead of, you know, if they really want the doctor's name in there, maybe start a, a, a unique set of citations, a unique effort with a unique Google My Business page for that practitioner themselves. If that's what they're after, we can accomplish it by doing that. I've seen this before, um, which is why I wish I'd, I'd caught it when it first came to us. Um, I see this also um, with special characters, things like that. Likewise with, um, with addresses. Um, sometimes you get these really goofy, funky um, addresses and we don't, the, the directories have a certain amount of standardization so that they can make it well standard across their site. Similar to um, similar to Google, for example, you give them something like sweet whatever and they'll change it into number sign whatever just so that it's standardized across their directory. In some cases that's okay. In some cases like the zip code, sometimes it's you know five numbers and then sometimes it's five numbers plus dash four numbers. I think that's what it's what it is in the United States sometimes. And I, I from what I understand and what I've seen, those two are, are basically one and the same, two sides of the same coin. It doesn't really um, matter that much. I mean, it'd be nice if it was consistent, but it seems like Google kind of gets that. But with, um, you know, crazy addresses where some, um, where some directory just won't be able to handle, handle it, you'll have to like leave out something, um, that's no good. So a little bit of forethought, I think, um, when it comes to business names, addresses, things like that, um, a little bit of uh, um, consideration for these directories that have you know character limits or or what have you, and they're just not going to be able to uh, accommodate your every whim, um, and especially when you're submitting to say a hundred, you're, you're assuming that a hundred different directories are going to have the exact same character limit, the exact same standardization, or um, you know address line one, address line two, etc. That's just not the case, and it and it and it, it never will be the case. So, um, little mistake I made, and hopefully a mistake you won't have to make. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope this has been helpful, and if it has, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.